example one. And we're going to look at some vocabulary quiz eight grades, not from you guys, because you guys haven't done vocabulary quiz eight yet. Um, but this is actually from like last year and the past couple of years that of the students, their scores and everything on those vocabulary quizzes. So you see there's zeros, there's a one, there's some 40s, 20s, 80s, and 100s. So they ranged everything that you can get from a zero to 100. They ranged everything. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to find all these pieces because we need to make sure we do our the inner quartile range and our semi-interquartile range. And with that, in order to be able to do that, we need to have Q1 and Q2 and Q3 to be able to work everything out. So here, we talked about this already when it came to the um, that worksheet that you guys had when it came to mean, median, and mode, and range, and talk about the definitions on those. So we're going to go back and do that part again. So we're going to come back into our calculator. We're going to turn it on. <laughs> turn it on. We're going to hit the stat button. Stat. Right there. And we're going to hit enter for edit. And don't worry about all these numbers. We can clear those out. We don't need those numbers. Clear that numbers out too. So your calculation are already be cleared, so don't worry about that. I just cleared mine out. But here, we're going to put all these numbers into L1. So from the very first 20 to the very last 80 on the second row, we're going to put all those numbers into L1. But again, be careful that you have all the numbers in place because if they're not there that means it's going to throw off your com answer completely so and if we, when we start doing our box and whisker plots that's going to throw everything off on there too to put everything in having all the numbers put in one thing you should notice here this number right here tells you how many numbers you have all together. So if you counted all of these numbers here, you will see that there's actually 24 numbers. So when you get down to this part, if you have 24 there or matching whatever number, amount of numbers that are there, that means you did it right. But make sure again, make sure you check everything. If you have to have your neighbor look at it first, it's okay to do that. But make sure you have all the numbers in because this next part is going to be completely wrong if you don't have those right. All right, so here, once we do that, we're going to hit stat again. We're going to go to the left, sorry, to the right. So we hit stat and we go to the right. We're going to hit enter on number one. Okay, so with this, we're not going to worry about frequency lists and all the good stuff. We're just going to go down and hit calculate. And it gave us a bunch of things here. Okay, remember again, X with a line over it right here. That means that we're talking about um, the mean. Here, that's a summation sign for both of those. That's sample, that's standard deviation. We're going to talk about that later on. That's in that tells you how many numbers that you have. So all those are important there. But we're going to go down to all these parts. So we have the minimum, we have Q1, median, Q3, and max. And again here, we said Q2 is the median. So just, as, just to have it here, Q2 is median. That's about median wrong. That's okay. You know what I mean. M E D I A N. So that's Q2. All right. Now, the final interquartile range, what do we do? We do Q1, uh, sorry, Q3 minus Q1. And we should always have, oh, no, sorry. I'm going to say that yet. So Q3 is 80, Q1 is 10.5. And all we do is subtract those two numbers, and that's our IQR. So 80 minus 10.5, and we get 69.5. So our IQR is 69.5. Okay, so that's important. <laughs> Right, so now let's go to the semi-interquartile semi range, or SQR. And what do we do to find that answer? Right, all we do is take the answer we just got, the 69.5, and we divide it by 2. So in other words, we take the IQR and divide it by 2. And let me write that part down really quickly. I'm going to erase this. I'm going to write IQR. 
and that's 69.5, we'll divide that by 2. And so in our calculator, we're going to divide it by 2. And let's just do this, 69.5 divided by 2. And we get 34.74. And that's our answer. So SQR is 34.75, not 74, 75, 75. That's it. That's all she wrote.